The first, the last, was written by Nat Voltaic. You can find it in a link in the description below. It is under a Creative Commons 3.0 share alike attribution license. The faint lights of distant stars littered the weary sky, redirecting in a multitude of ways through the stale atmosphere. Down below the cloudless heavens was the debris of an underworld. The wrecks of sky-piercing towers cast endless shadows across granite plains. A graveyard for billions of minds. If those minds could think, they would be embracing the breeze fleeting around the decaying duds and bomb craters. But all the breeze brought was erosion. One of the silicon monuments, which rose and split the sunrise in two, was impacted by a small gust of wind. The survivor tore its seams apart and fell with a thunderous bang. A final echo of a building that once held the sounds of hundreds. Continent-spanning corpses rose up from the debris, ossified limbs, and hands reaching to the smoke-stained aether. Fractured skulls that once released river-carving plasma were now hollow caverns. Miles of cylindrical pits, holders of instruments that tore these beasts down, had filled with the ashes of unintended victims. A small whirlwind touched the edge of one of the vats and ejected plumes of waste into the air. Not far from these holes of debris, partially lodged under a millennium of dust, was a most peculiar sight. A sculpture of malformed posture and structure. Its once vibrant markings had faded into oblivion, leaving a featureless beige behind. The last flakes of blood cracked off its stumps and fluttered into the pale horizon. The wind blew on. The sounds of ancient air currents were interrupted by a noise that had not been heard since the last cell had blown apart and died. A soft scraping, which slowly and rhythmically repeated. Two of the bumps on the entity's head kept a fixed gaze on the sapphire sun, keeping watch for any signs of existence, any being that could look upon itself. The broken silence wouldn't do. As if to quell this intrusion of discord, a large dust storm, delivering the powder of shattered bones and lives, blew in and over the area. The loud whirling wind nearly masked all else, but the scraping continued. Blue beams flickered and vanished within the storm, and the eyes continued to stare through the flashes. The hollow scrapes grew, and the storm began to blow more fiercely. Rusted chunks moved from their resting places and collided into the statue, shattering rebar lumps. And yet it continued, and it grew in intensity, grew in harshness, called out across the rotten lands in a shrill cacophony. The storm broke the silos in explosive blasts and created clouds of ash, but the song went on. After several minutes of turmoil, a last sigh escaped the storm, and the dust it carried was dropped. The wind stopped blowing. The sun's blaze returned to the silos, but no response to the signal was sent, and the statue was now submerged under the rubble of its past jail. But time would pass. The ground and dirt would slowly shatter and dissipate, releasing clouds of earth. Like a sun-grazing comet, the planet evaporated until a single relic was released with the last specks of matter. And like the specks, it would sink into the void and drown in the darkness. It would see no sights. It would be invisible for the rest of time. There would be silence. And nothing more. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday.